Okay, so this is a test run. I'm going to be showing you guys how to download the software drivers for your um, HP Office Jet 6100 in case you all had um, you know any trouble downloading that. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the hub. Once again, the hub. This is what you guys should be seeing, right? So under news, under important professional development and lesson planning links, you're going to see here a link to your HP Office Jet 6100 software driver. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. Now, once you click on that, you're going to see this screen here. Now, what I want you to do is you're going to go ahead and click on this icon. Now, the reason I couldn't email this out to y'all is because uh, the file was too big, so I had to put it on here on Blend Space. But unfortunately, when you click on here, Blend Space doesn't recognize the software, doesn't know how to display it. And um, so, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and click on this. And then it's going to ask you if you want to run or save. I usually just run. And so you're going to let that download on your computer. And I'm going to pause it. Or not. It's going pretty fast. So now I put this, this message here, right? Click wording to access software. When I wrote it, my name wasn't right there, so I meant this link here. So that's why I'm doing this video because I'm sure for some of you all this is not, you know, kind of intuitive. So. Okay, so then this is going to pop up. You say yes. And then, you know, just kind of like click next. Basically, it's going to give you the recommended software to download. You just click next. Uh, just hit I agree or I have reviewed and accepted. Next. Okay, good. So, when you proceed, make sure that your um, printer is connected to USB. So, you're going to click this one here. And I'm not connected to an Office Jet 6100. So, when I click on it, it's going to say, are you sure you're connected? And so, uh, but you should go ahead and write, move right along. And after that, basically, all I gotta do is just um, test run it. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and get an Office Jet 6100, so I can show you all this process. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, plugged in an Office Jet 6100. And I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. So there's recognizing that I did in fact connect the USB to the 6100 Office Jet. So I'm gonna click next. So yeah, I want to see the ink alerts right away. This is your preference. I want to click show me ink alerts right away. And then I hit next. And in here, uh, I, I would type in Mil Milby's old um, 
the zip code to 77012. You can enter any zip code, really. And then, you know, it is a business with 10 or more people, so I'm going to click on that. Hit next. And I think that should be pretty much it. Here it is. Now at the bottom, you're going to see this icon right here. It says HP. You're going to go ahead and click on that. And then you should see... Let me make the screen larger. Then you should see this screen pop up. All right. And so here you can check. I mean, it's basically like the, the center for the software. And what you want to do to make sure that you install it properly is go to maintain your printer. And what we're going to do is we're going to print the quality diagnostic. Want some, make sure you have some paper on there now if you have a computer that was packed away right and you have been using it before chances are your ink levels are going to be dried up so you may have to email Mr. Murray about getting some new ink uh, cartridges if you have a new printer then you know basically gonna have a full level of ink and you'll be ready to go so that's why you want to print the quality diagnostic and you'll find out right away if the ink is dry it won't print and basically the lights on top of the ink levels on the printer itself will light up and it'll also notify you here so we're just going to go ahead and click print diagnostic so right now it's doing a, a print and so basically that's pretty much it you're pretty much good to go uh, after you're in this video if you still have trouble um you know getting your hp printer up and running go ahead and shoot me an email and my email is b soto with three i's so it's b soto i i i at houston ifd.org thank you